Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. In today's video, I will be performing a PT inspection on a 24 inch reducer to a header. Please note that a PT prep and a PT root was already performed. But for this video, I will only be doing a PT final. Furthermore, there will be a PT final after stress being performed. But for this video, we will only be focusing on the PT final. The acceptance criteria used for this inspection is ASME B31.3, which focuses on piping. We will be using these three cans to perform the inspection. A cleaner, a penetrant, a developer, a brush, and lastly, we'll be using some free lint rags. We will have five steps to follow when executing the PT inspection. The first step will be cleaning the surface of interest by spraying the weld and using a free lint rag to clean the surface. And we will wait five minutes for our drying time. We will then apply penetrant into the weld by spraying it into a brush and then applying it smoothly into the weld. And we will also make sure we get half an inch on both sides of the heat affected zone. Having applied the penetrant all around the weld, we will then wait a 10 minute weld time. Our third step will consist of removing the penetrant. We will be using a free lint rag to remove it. We will then clean the surface by damping the rag with cleaner and we will further clean the surface of interest. Once having removed the excessive penetrant, we will wait five minutes for our drying time and then we will grab our developer and we will agitate our can before applying the developer. Once having done that, we will then spray it into the weld and then assess the surface. Having applied developer all throughout the surface, we will then evaluate the whole surface as you can see we have a little bit of bleed out here and what we will do in order for us to make sure that this is not an actual indication we will clean this particular surface and then we will reapply developer and then we will reassess and see if there is any further bleed out overall we will wait 10 minutes for a developing time and then we will make a determination whether the weld is rejectable or acceptable we will then post clean the surface if no indications were noted. And these are the steps taken to do a PT inspections using an acceptance criteria of B31.3. Now every company has a different procedure. So you will have to read your procedure to see what the development time or the dwell time is. And it will change from procedure to procedure and also depending on the acceptance criteria. And this is an example of a request given to us to perform the inspection. Here it will show us what needs to be inspected and what method will be utilized to perform the NDE. This is a sample of the report written after completing the inspection. Now this is not the original report, so I changed some of the welds and reference numbers just so you guys could see how it's done. Thank you guys for watching. That wraps up the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.